Grigri is a story of a young dancer. Um, he is handicapped and he used, you know, to dance in uh, bars. And uh, well, he earned his life like that, you know. And uh, while his uh, father-in-law uh, falls ill, ill, he he, he won't to get medicine, you know, and to, to to save him in a way. And as he doesn't have the means, money to do that, he started like becoming a kind of part of traffic of gasoline from Cameroon to Chad. That's the whole story of Grigri. Well, you know, it's not my role to, 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 to explain what messages I'm trying to, to send to, to my uh, audience, you know. I think that everyone should make the job and the work to understand what messages, you know, the filmmaker is trying to, 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 to send. But what I want to, to think about is just like in this solidarity in Africa, in this way of living together, you have some young people, you know, they have a lot of dreams. And us, they are always like, you know, blocked because of social situations. So the dreams are always, you know, blocked because you have people, families and all these things, you know, asking for young people to take their responsibility and to take care of the other. And I think that the right society is this society where the adults should take care about young people, but not young people taking care about the adults. That's what I'm trying to say and to repeat maybe to, to African audiences. Well, the challenge is maybe, uh, uh, you know, uh, as fiction, let us do that. I wanted to create a couple of cinema, which very not, there is no probability that Grigri could meet, you know, a lady like Anaïs Monari Mimi. And I wanted, you know, just to create this couple of cinema. And in maybe, I hope, in 10 years, 50 years, you can just forget maybe the movie, but remember just the couple Mimi and Grigri.